Hello everyone, I'm Zhi Hao. I'm glad to present how we make fast net matching for cellular data. This is a joint work with Dr. Zhu in UC Merced and Dr. Zhao and Zhou in Xianzhou Tong University. When users use their mobile phones in the real life, the phones communicate with surrounding cell towers. At the same time, location samples from different users will be passively collected by mobile carriers. In general, the samples record the anonymized mobile devices identifier, timestamp, the associated cell tower ID, and the type of event. The type may include network service requests and the location updates. Due to the high penetration level of mobile phones in terms of population and physical space, cellular data enable many location-based applications, such as transportation and human mobility analysis. For example, transportation analysis system can estimate road traffic trends based on the cellular data in time. Among these applications, an essential processing step is map matching that transforms an input cell tower sequence into a most likely road trajectory on a road map. For example, suppose a user connects to the street cell towers at different times. The map matching algorithm aims to find the most likely roads traversed by the users. In real-world applications, map matching algorithms are also necessary to be run fast. For example, for the applications that involve the analysis of a large-scale users, a faster inference can provide timely process for further analysis. This can minimize computation resource consumption, such as power, storage, and computations. Many map matching approaches have been proposed. Most of them use hidden mark models. We first introduce the basic process of the model. Take the trajectory on the last page for example. The model first search for the candidate rows within a search range of each cell tower. Because of the large location error of cellular data, the search range should be large enough to cover all possible rows. This ensures that the candidate rows contain the whole route a user is actually on but this greatly increases the search space. To make it easier to explain, we just consider a few candidate rows in our example. For this rows, hidden Markov model usually estimates an observation probability and a transition probability. The observation probability estimates the likelihood of the cell tower is localized at the road, according to the distance between the road and the cell tower. The transition probability evaluates the likelihood that transit from the last road or the last several roads to current road. According to different number of historical roads, the hidden Markov model can be divided into different orders. For example, if we consider the last one road, the model is first order. If we consider the last two roads, the model will be second order. As the model process proceeds, the product of emission probabilities and the transition probabilities of some row sequences increase faster than the others. Finally, given the estimated probability of all possible rows, hidden Markov model uses dynamic programming to find the optimal row sequence with the highest product value. However, the hidden Markov model suffers from two problems. First, they rely on Markov assumption to simplify the problem. Specifically, they assume the probability distribution of the next road only depends on the current road. But just consider the last road leads to the loss of information. We conduct an experiment to validate this. We implement two hidden Markov models with first order and second order location information. As shown, the accuracy of second order map matching model performs better than first order model. But if we increase the order of hidden Markov models, the inference time will significantly increase. Second, given the estimated probability of all possible roads, hidden Markov model relies on dynamic programming to identify the optimal row sequence, which has a quadratic time complexity. This incurs high computation overhead of online inference. For cellular data, the things get worse. This is because in case of large location error, the search range for the candidate road of its cell tower should be set large enough to cover the true roads, and therefore, more roads will be considered into the model. We investigate the performance of hidden Markov model at different search radius. As soon as the radius increase, the inference time will increase at an exponential rate. For example, for the search radius of 500 meters, 
the average inference time is about 50 seconds. For many applications that have over 10 million sequences, the inference time will be larger than 5,000 days. This prevents the use of these applications. Inspired by recent progresses for sequence-based applications, we propose to adopt a recurrent neural network for matching problem. By using this technique, we can handle the problem in a hidden Marx model. First, recurrent neural network design an internal memory mechanism, which is capable of representing high-order location information. This allows to consider multiple historical rows for inferring the next row. Second, recurrent neural network is a data-driven model. Once the model trains, we can use the trained model to generate the map matching result directly by a feed-forward computation. This avoids the heavy computations of dynamic programming during the inference of hidden Markov model, and thus reduce the computation overhead. We give an example to show how we apply recurrent neural network for map matching directly. Given a location sequence of three cell towers and a well-trained recurrent model, we feed the cell tower into the model successfully. For cell tower X1, the model generates the road R1, that has the largest probability in all rows. At the same time, the model generates a hidden vector H1 and uses it as an input for the next step. By continuously feeding the cell towers into the model, we obtain three rows for each cell tower. But such a map matching process is concerned with three problems. Next, we provide the details of the three problems and solutions. Let's start with the first challenge. As we can see, because of the large coverage of cell towers, different cell towers may cover different number of row segments. However, basic recurrent neural network can only handle the mapping between fixed lines input and output. Given different number of cell towers in the location sequence, how to generate the sequence of rows with different lines need to be explored. To this end, we propose an encoder-decoder-based map matching model that composed of two recurrent neural networks, named as encoder and decoder. Given a cell tower sequence with any number of cell towers, the encoder first reads each cell tower successfully and transforms them into a sequence of hidden vectors. After encoding all the input, we get a final hidden vector H3 that conserves the location information of a whole input sequence. Then, H3 is acted as an in initial hidden state H0' prime and fed into the decoder network. At each step, the decoder will generate a road and hidden state that will be used for next inference. Finally, the decoder generates a sequence of rows as the map matching results. Based on this, we can easily handle the different lines of input and output. For the second challenge, recurrent neural network-based models require vector representations for input cell towers. A classic approach is to use a binary vector to represent a cell tower in which all bits are zero except one bit is one, referring to the specific cell tower. However, this technique suffers from two drawbacks. First, the sparse representation reduces the training efficiency of the map matching model, especially in the environment with a large number of cell towers. Second, the learned map matching pattern cannot be utilized for the surrounding cell towers. To handle this problem, we propose to leverage the autoencoder model to learn spatial aware but low dimensional cell tower representations. The graph shows the architecture of the model. The model learns an identity mapping for the spatially closed cell towers. Specifically, given a cell tower X, the model is trained to maximize the probability that predicts a spatially closed cell tower X prime. In this way, the representation layer of the autoencoder model can learn the representation for the cell towers by the representation layers. When you want to improve map matching performance, especially in the large location arrow and the low sampling rate cellular environments, you could leverage some heuristics rooted on a set of observations in real life driving scenarios, which can give more accurate estimates for the location without cellular signals. In our work, we propose three heuristics. First, Users are more likely to select a sequence of major rows based on the uneven distribution of traffic flows. Second, users are more likely to follow the same direction 
rather than completely changing the moving direction. Third, users prefer the road trajectory with turns as few as possible if exists multiple possible road trajectories between origin and destination. For example, for the first set of towers in the graph, it is hard to determine the exact path between the second and third set of towers. But as our heuristic indicates that, users are less willing to make frequent turns for a row sequence. The model will choose the final row sequence with one turn as solid blue line shoes, rather than that in dashed blue lines with three turns. But how to incorporate such heuristics into the map matching model is the problem. To incorporate the heuristics, we develop a reinforcement learning scheme. It has a well-defined reward function to encourage the map match row sequence to meet the above three heuristics. As shown, given a state observed from the environment, the policy of the agent learns to map from a state to the action. A reward is then designed to estimate how good or bad of current action or a sequence of actions. Finally, the policy is optimized for better performance according to the reward. To apply reinforcement learning in our system, we first reveal the encoder-decoder map measure model as the agent and give the specific design of the other key elements. Most importantly, the reward is used to estimate the satisfaction of heuristics. Then, at every iteration, the map measure agent reads the cell tower sequence as the data input and generates an actual sequence, which is also the map measure result of our model. Next, the reward is decalculated to measure the satisfaction of heuristics. The three components in the reward function evaluate each heuristic respectively. Finally, we use the reinforce algorithm to update the policy of the map mesh agent based on the reward. Based on the above three models, we present our system. Given the cell type sequence in the cellular dataset, during the offline training, we first learn a location representer to capture high quality representations for cell towers. By using the location representer, we transform all the cell tower sequences into vector sequences and store them into a vector sequences dataset. Then, we learn a recurrent map matching model to generate the most likely row sequence on the road map. The vector sequences as well as the estimated ground truth labels generated from a hidden markup model are used to train the model. Finally, we customize the map matching model into a reinforcement learning framework to refine the map matching results. Note that the training of the model can be conducted offline without impacting the speed of online inference. In the online inference stage, cell tower sequences are continuously fed into our system for root inference. For a cell tower sequence, our system first transforms it into a vector sequence by the location representer and pass the vector sequence into the final map matching model to identify the most likely route on the road map. Now, we describe the implementation details of our system. We develop our system in Python. The code is implemented in PyTorch, an open source machine learning framework, to train our system, hardware resource and the training data are necessary. For the hardware resource, we run our system on a server with two central processing units. We also use the graphic processing unit card to accelerate the training process. For the training data, we use about 600,000 anonymous cell tower sequence to train the three models in our system, which can be acquired from the mobile carriers. To evaluate our proposed method, we recruited volunteers and collected their GPS locations as ground truth. The volunteers all agreed to use their data for study. During the data collection, we asked the volunteers to equip with the mobile phones and drive in our city. The volunteers were required to enable GPS on their mobile phones. We installed a data collection application to record GPS locations at a high sampling rate up to one sample per second. The mobile carrier also provides the corresponding cell tower sequences of the volunteers for evaluation. In the end, we collected the car driving traces over 1,700 kilometers. The traces cover various road types, such as main roads and side roads. The graph shows the coverage map of our collected dataset. We access the accuracy of all map matching approaches by comparing the map matching route to the ground truth route. 
We use average precision and recall as performance criteria. Precision is defined as the ratio of total length of correctly matched root to the total length of the root. Recall is the ratio of total length of the correctly matched root to the total length of the ground truth root. We compare our system with SnapNet. It is a hidden Markov-based approach for cellular data collected from mobile phone set. It incorporates several digital mappings to handle the issue of large location error and low sampling rate, such as preferring major roads and staying on the same road. To provide faster map matching, SnapNet increased sampling rate of cell tower sequence by interpolating some locations between two adjacent cell towers. But it is hard to perform accurate interpolation in urban areas where have a lot of possible roads connect to two locations. As a consequence, simple interpolation degrades the map matching accuracy. Therefore, we also implement a version of SnapNet without an interpolation operation. We conduct an extensive experiment to evaluate our system. We demonstrate that our system provides precision and recall about 80% and 85%, corresponding to performance gains about 19% and 15% over hidden Markov model. Our system also reduced inference time of hidden Markov model by 46 times. Next, we provide a part of the result of experiment. Here is the result. As shown, our system provides the best accuracy. This is because our system adopts a recurrent neural model to consider high-order location information. In addition, the proposed spatial wire cell tower representation and heuristics further improve the performance. We also find our system run much faster than the other approaches. This is because our system only needs to make a forward computation of neural networks to identify an optimal route during the inference stage. There is an exception. SnapNet has less inference time than our system. This is because SnapNet increased the sampling rate of cell tower sequence by interpolation operation between adjacent cell towers. But we can find that the precision and recall of SnapNet decreased sharply. This indicates that SnapNet is more capable of handling the trajectories on highways. We further decompose the performance of location representer and the reinforcement learning optimizer respectively. We first implement a variant of our system, which simply use binary vectors to represent their towers. As we can see, the system with location representer perform better. This indicates that the land map matching pattern can be generalized to the surrounding cell towers. We then study the performance of reinforcement learning optimizer on the accuracy. We implement our system with and without reinforcement learning optimizer. We observe that the optimizer improves the accuracy of basic map matching model in precision and recall. This indicates that our system succeeded in optimizing the map matching model with heuristics we observed in the real driving scenarios. Finally, we make a short summary. In this work, we present a map matching solution for cellular data. By developing a recurrent neural network based map matching model, a location representation model, and a reinforcement learning based optimizer together, our system provides effective and efficient map matching for cellular data. We make extensive experiments to evaluate our system. We also make part of evaluation dataset and code available on our homepage. If you are interested in to see how it works, Try it yourself. Thank you.